Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, July 20th, 2021 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Brain Nightmare is the vulnerability it keeps on giving. We have now yet another CVE that's being tracked for Brain Nightmare, and that's CVE 2021-3448-1. I briefly, I think, mentioned it on Monday. This is the local privilege escalation, so it does allow a local user to obtain system-level privileges it's not exploitable remotely like the prior vulnerability which of course still makes it a problem but a lesser problem than the other print nightmares not a lot of details here other than the cve number and the scope of the vulnerability to mitigate the vulnerability for now your only choice is to disable the print spooler service and Apple today released updates for iOS, watchOS, tvOS, as well as for Safari. But the Safari update was only released for macOS Catalina and Mojave. So far, Apple has embargoed any vulnerability details, but well, it can be assumed that there are multiple vulnerabilities that are being addressed by these updates. In particular, the iOS update is something you probably do want to apply. Now, Safari is kind of interesting. Typically, Apple is releasing Safari for these older operating system and then an update for the latest operating system, which would be macOS Big Sur at this point. However, this hasn't happened yet. Apple today released a second release candidate for the next version of macOS Big Sur. Also a little bit unusual to have two release candidates. Likely something sort of, you know, came up uh, in the last sort of uh, sanity checks uh, before they got ready uh, to release this. I would expect an update for macOS uh, to be delivered maybe on Tuesday today or uh, later this week. At that point, we probably will also get more details about these vulnerabilities. Apple usually holds them back if there is a lot of overlap, which we typically have between these uh, different operating systems. And uh, since the macOS patch hasn't been released yet, they probably don't want to give anybody any heads up as to which vulnerabilities are going to be patched. Now, one vulnerability that's hopefully going to get patched and where we have uh, new details about is the famous format string vulnerability that was considered a denial of service vulnerability in iOS. You may remember there are these SSIDs in Wi-Fi networks that's contain percent %s that trigger a denial of service. Well, according uh, to a blog post by SecOps, uh, this vulnerability may actually be exploitable for a remote code execution. And according to the blog post, also a patch uh, was promised for this week. So makes sense that today's update for iOS will patch this vulnerability. Now, in case you're running iOS 14.4 or later, again, 14.7 was released today, you are safe from the vulnerability being exploited without your interaction. You do have to actually join a wireless network that has the odd SSID. If you are running iOS before 14.4, then the vulnerability is exploitable even if you are not willingly joining the network because iOS will continuously scan for open wireless uh, networks. And in these older versions of iOS, uh, the exploit will be triggered even by these scans that happen in the background. So not 100% sure if this vulnerability is completely fixed in iOS 14.7, but given the statement in the blog post, it sort of makes sense. And it has been very common, of course, in the last uh, decade or so that whenever there's a tragedy that attackers are taking advantage of it, usually by sending phishing emails or by using it to send malware written videos and the like. But it turns out in the condo collapse in Surfside by Miami, attackers are now going after victims 
by stealing their identity after finding out partial identities if they're mentioned on the news. Not a lot of details about this yet from law enforcement, but certainly something to be aware of, to be careful as to how to release, for example, names or birthdays and the like uh, in newscasts. At the same note, also, of course, with all the floods in Germany and Netherlands and Belgium uh, this week, if you run into any scams related to that, uh, please uh, let me know. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks again for listening. As usual, if you like this podcast, please recommend it to your friends. If not, then please recommend it to your enemies. That's it for today. And thanks for listening. Talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.